Oh, my heart is dinky do. It's just me, Scotty McClure. A quick pop up Wednesday evening. Nothing has passed me, of course. And I thought I'd say hi to you. What a cracking day today. The weather has been absolutely outstanding in the United Kingdom. And I hope you've had a fantastic day. Is it warm where you are? Are we having a very special summer? I ask you. So there you go. So that's why I thought just pop up. And also, of course, by way of getting in touch with you, the last time I spoke to you would be Friday night at midnight because we've been doing the Scotty McClue Show live on 96.3. There's Andrew Wishmaster Williams. Hello, Scotty. And Craig Purdy. Hello, Scotty Dinky Do. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us, guys. And welcome to our Wednesday evening pop-up. Stephen Menzies is there, of course, keeping the real network running. Fantastic stuff. John Hanlon with Dinky Do. Dinky Do to you, John. Excellent stuff. Tell Ted to tell Ted to tell Ted to tell Ted. There's Scotty McClue, the one stop broadcaster is broadcasting live to you directly on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. Good evening, Scotty. The sweat's pouring off me here in Motherwell. Just wash my railway van. It will do. It will do. It's, it's very, very warm. Good evening, Scotty. This is Alan McGee. Uh, no wind and rain. Back tomorrow. Uh, says I think he, he, John Adams, you haven't punctuated. You haven't parsed that. No. Full stop. Wind and rain back tomorrow. Or no, hyphen wind and rain back tomorrow. So there you go. So just a quick Scotty McClure tea time pop up to every single one of you to say hi. Uh, a ladybird invasion in Wales, says Andrew Wishmaster Williams. So I have heard a lot of insects in Wales. I've just been talking to somebody in Wales and they were telling me about it. There you go. How's that for connections? Hi, Scotty. Dinky do. First Lord of the Internet, says John Hanlon. Indeed, John. What a marvelous, marvelous thing to be. I say, what a, what a superb appointment. First Lord of the Internet and the world's top broadcaster, Scotty McClue, live here just for you. Good evening, Mr. McClue. Says Charles A. Diver. Dinky do, Charles. I hope you're well. Scotty, I think I agree with you. All taxi drivers are BAMs says, hello, de saints. Well, not all of them, you know, but I mean, it's an, it takes an interesting character to decide to drive a taxi for the rest of their life. I don't need to punctuate it. It ain't an English lesson. John Adams, every day of your life is an English lesson. So there you are. So you do need to punctuate it. All right, Scotty Powell, good to, to hear you back on Nation Radio. Top man, Stephen McMahon, did you do? Hi, Scotty. Sun tan in Glasgow today, says Robert Edwards. Yes, it's been very, very warm. But I want to hear from people further afield and uh, anybody around the rest of Scotland. Uh, lol, says John Hanlon. Absolutely lol. So there you go. Every day is a school day, John Hanlon. And you of all people should know that. So there you are. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. I'm here. I inform. I educate. I and I entertain, and hopefully I fulfill these functions. I also do a quick Wednesday evening tea time pop-up to see that you're all behaving. Uh, I was a taxi driver, hated people talking behind my back, says John Hanlon. I know, that's why you gave it up, like I gave up stand-up comedy, because everybody was just laughing at me. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't, but thanks for the advice. No, I'm sorry, I don't, but thanks for the advice, says John Adams. Yes, you need a capital I at the I am sorry. So there are no, and then hyphen, and then capital I, I am sorry, you know. And then um, I am sorry, comma, I don't, comma, oh no, you don't need a comma, I don't, but thanks for the advice. So you've joined it up there. So that's what I would do with that, John Adams, to be quite honest with you. Let's see what you do with it. Uh, John Hanlon, lol, absolutely good for you, John Hanlon. There we are. A wee bit of tuition, free tuition from Scotty McClue, one of the world's great teachers. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Stephen Lipton, uh, good to hear from you. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. If you're wondering what an else going on, it's Scotty McClue with a quick Wednesday tea time pop-up just to say dinky-doo to every one of you. Also to thank you so much for the wonderful input onto the big radio show on Nation Radio 96.3 FM. 
Uh, Friday night, Saturday night and Sunday night, 10 o'clock sharp, you'll hear Scotty McClure live on the wireless on Nation Radio 96.3 on the FM. Away with your nonsense, says John Adams. Away with your nonsense, John Adams. I gave you the key to it. All you need to say is... Thank you, Scotty. There are lol, says John Adams. Uh, how about shoving that hat, says John Adams. John Adams, not very nice. So what I'll do is I'll delete that comment, but I will let you off. I shan't give you a lifetime ban for cheeking up. Uh, block, says John Hanlon. No, no, don't block him. Don't block him yet. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll let him. We'll let him stay on and stew in his own juice. So there you go. Excellent stuff. Oh, no, blocked. No, you're not blocked, John Adams. You're just, uh, just you had your comment deleted. We haven't blocked you. You haven't had a, a red card as yet. So there you are. But the uh, broadcast is but young. And who knows what difference could happen as time goes on. Welcome, 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 I say to every single one of you. Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, just for you, saying dinky-doo, Calvin Allen, dinky-doo. I am touched, says John Adams. I have told you that for some time, John Adams, but you just have to accept it. So there you are. It might be the sun. Uh, two fish in a tank. First fish turns the second fish and says, how do you drive one of these things? <laughs> Two fish in a tank. Get it? Very good, John Smith. Well done. Joke of the evening, I see, in the tea time pop-up. Uh, John Adams was a scrap man, says John Hanlon. Nothing wrong with that, you know. Lots of things need scrapped. So there you are. It's one. Heaps, heaps of things need scrapped. You get it? Scrap heaps, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, Thomas Dreghorn, did you do? Wasn't that super duper jumper? Well, obviously, uh, you know, I'm a big athlete and, uh, you know, I play a lot of sport. And um, this is my uh, American football jumper for be below my safety gear. So that's what that is. Uh, Stephen Mooney, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Kevin McDonald, how are you? Scotty, I like your A to Z CD collection. Yes, absolutely. Worth about a pound nowadays. Lol, says John Hedlund. Uh, again, lol. Stuart Graham says, hello. Hello, Stuart Graham. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClure's Wednesday evening pop-up just for you to say dinky do. Uh, Alan Morrison, excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us as well. Very, very good. These uh, these pop-ups are very, very popular. And thank you for sharing everything around. And remember that Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we're, of course, live on the wireless now for two hours of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for the nation on Nation Radio 96.3. FM. Can I get a shout out to my mum who's in hospital? Wee Janie. Wee Janie Graham. Of course you can. I hope she's going to be all right. We send her love and blessings and strength. There we are. Very important. Off to work, Scotty. Have a great evening, sir. And you, John Hanlon. Take great care of yourself. Mind your P's and your Q's. All that sort of stuff. And of course, please and thank you all the time. But that's a given. We don't need to, we don't need to go there. Uh, have a lovely evening at work and take care of yourself. I see. Uh, right. He's off to work, John Hanlon. Who else do we have? Having just joined us live, Tony Bamford, welcome, welcome, I say. You're all watching Scotty McClue, and we're live on the pop-up. So much to discuss. I put an interesting thing up this afternoon. At least I thought it was interesting. And obviously, over the last 50, 60 years in Britain, what's been the finest thing to happen? Well, I said Scotty McClue, of course. And what's the worst thing? I said Dr. Beeching's Rail Cuts. That's the worst thing, I think. Your shot is a Snyder, Scotty. Yes, Tom Skelding, don't you speak to me like that. Uh, thanks, Scotty. So, Stuart Graham, no problem, Stuart. You have a lovely, lovely evening, I say, and dinky do. And uh, I hope that uh, we genie is all right. Tell her we're asking for her, say, the whole universe is asking for you, Mum. You were mentioned on Scotty McClure's Facebook Live tonight. 
The Wednesday evening tea time pop-up. There we go. You can't beat that. Wonderful. Uh, so what else can I say? Oh, yes. Big, big thank you, of course, for all your input the other night to the show. Feel free to make a call. It's a phone in. It's Scotty McClure's Nightline. It's the old Scotty McClure's Nightline. But uh, we don't savage people now. So there you are, because the world has changed. The world has moved on. Scotty McClure has moved on. Of course. So it's a different day. So we don't savage you, but we have some very, very good chats. And it's proving a very, very popular program. It is a massive, massive radio station. I was enjoying listening on the way through to Edinburgh uh, the other day. John Cameron says hello. Hello, John Cameron. And Dinky Doo, a very warm welcome from me, Scotty McClue, to our Wednesday evening tea time pop-up, of course. I did say I would pop up during the week. I don't let you down. You can rely on McClue. 100%. Wonderful. Uh, James Nicholas has joined us. Dinky do, James. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to the pop-up. Lots happening. Shall we have a share? Shall we tell everybody we're live? I don't think we've actually done that yet, have we? So let's just tell everyone we are live. I go on Facebook. Uh, was it the police? That moved John Scotty, says John Smith. No, no, no. We had to move on. So there we are. Moving on time, I say. You have to move on. It's wonderful. You have to move with the times. And McClue has always been ahead of the times, so I tend to set the agenda. Beaching decimated Scottish railways, uh, but reclaiming closed lines back, such as Airdrie to Bathgate, and the borders line. Yes, I think beaching ruined the whole character of Britain. It's very interesting that we've had quite a lot of destructive um, politicians in our time. And um, I think that the railway, because it used to be you never really went very far without uh, being able to jump on a train and get to the next stop. And we've kind of lost a lot of that. So uh, I hold beaching responsible for a lot of damage to the infrastructure in this country. It might have seemed a good idea at the time. I know that steam was moving on to diesel. Because uh, I can remember that, 1964, 1965, the diesels coming onto the Scottish network. Susan Forrest watching Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us, of course, Susan, uh, down in Lancashire there. I'm just going to share to our page, guys. I'll share to the groups and let them know that we're watching. So um, I'll just say live now. Mm -hmm. And share. Share, live, now, share. Excellent. Isn't this clever? Isn't technology fantastic, the things that we do with it? Uh, share to that group. 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 And that's probably enough. You don't get too many goes at this. So you've got to uh, make sure that you're doing your stuff. And uh, share to that group. Wonderful, and that will probably do us, I say, and I'll share to that group as well. Right, that's that. We've had a share, and we've let everybody know that we are live now. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure, Richard Hill. Scotty, are you getting my hellos? Yes, I am, Richard. I must be getting your hellos, because I'm saying my hellos to you, because you've said your hellos to me. Uh, what have you been up to today, Scotty? Says Stuart Graham. Busy. Busy, busy day, lot of administration. Very frustrating, actually, because I wanted to be out in the sunshine walking the dog. The dog is 12 today. Amazing. Happy birthday to Lord Clyde. Dinky do, Scotty. Scott Beanie. Excellent to hear from you. And welcome, 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 I say. Willie K is watching. Willie, lovely to have you with us. I'll just do another little bit of sharing, and I'll share this time to um, a page, to the Scotty McClue page. Wally K, you and I go back a long time. Wonderful, wonderful, long time, long way. Live now. Share. Pardon me. There we are. Live now. Share. And I've, oh, I've shared to Facebook again. Sorry, I went too quick there. 
Uh, so you'll get another one popping up in front of you there. Uh, oh, an October doggy. I'm 26 tomorrow, says Stuart Graham. Stephen Menzies, happy birthday, Lord Clyde. Absolutely. Lovely wee guy. Amazing. Happy birthday, Clyde, says Scott Biddy. Thank you, everybody. That's very important. He will appreciate it. He's listening and doing what Labradors do. Uh, I remember you from your Scott FM days. I used to chat with you back there on the phones. Glad you're back broadcasting. We'll be tuning in more often. Gavin Duff, tune in if you're in Scotland or in, in anywhere, but I mean in Scotland on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday evening, 10 o'clock sharp, 96.3 FM. Uh, Scotty, give the Jimmy Steele Memorial a shout out. Miss you on radio, says Andrew Robertson. Andrew, we're back on radio. So make sure you join me. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 10 o'clock, 96.3 FM, Nation Radio. Put it on right now, I would say, and listen to the fabulous music. Derek McIntyre, our breakfast show presenter, is in Dubai. So there you are. I'm in South Lanarkshire, says Gavin. Perfect. 96.3 FM. Put it on now, Gavin. You are laughing. And then on Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, two hours, two hours of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment. It's fantastic. Right. I'm just going to go to the groups here, guys, and share on your page this one. We've done the groups. We'll go to the page instead. Right. And um, what did we say? Live? Now? Share. Excellent. And there we are. Right. That's it. Live now share. These were the things that the um, wizard of the big switchboard used to do. Remember that? Fantastic stuff. Gavin Duff, good man. So there you go, 96.3. Um, and uh, you'll get it on your FM radio, of course, clear as a bell right across central Scotland. And uh, if you're struggling for any reason with anything like that, you might be in a little pocket, then you get it on to www.nationradio.scot www.nationradio.scot or the other thing you can do of course check your data what your allocation is and uh, go to the app store download radio player and then put in nation radio 96.3 fm you've got to do that specifically otherwise you'll be going oh, i can't get it scott it doesn't seem to be working here it's not working, all that stuff. People are so funny because, of course, it's working. Boom! Right there, and then you just have to get it right. And have you noticed that people always blame somebody else? They don't think it could be them. I get it on here. People say, oh, you're stuck. You've frozen. I haven't frozen. Their screen has frozen. Things like that. Occasionally, I freeze. Oh, freezing. You know, that sort of idea. Right. Darren Christie, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClure. And it's Wednesday evening tea time pop-up. Scotty, I used to think you played the box and Scott FM was a recording. And you were winding us up. No, 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 no. The box is here. Why would I be winding you up? There we go. Let me show you the box. There. Proof. Proof. The box. Excellent stuff. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe we even get you a tune. Okay, guys, there you go. That shows you the box is real. Yes, I have fiber broadband. I've got everything. Yes, Stuart Graham, did you do? So there you are. Reaching in the box for you, Stuart. Just letting you know what is what. Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome to you. You're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching. Facebook Live. Good grief. Says Robert Edwards, oh, good grief. So there we are. What's the good grief for, Robert Edwards? I ask you. Any more sharing going on? Why we'll do some more sharing? Because we like that. <laughs> we like sharing. And uh, what have we got here? There we are. On your page. On my page. Scotty McClure. And uh, what did I say I was putting in here? Live. 
No. Join us. Wonderful. Share. We'll put a dash for the share, will we? Do it properly. My father used to say it's as easy to do it right as do it wrong. Live now. And we'll put, um, do we put an exclamation mark there? I think we do. Join us. Share. Oh, yes, I have. I got it right. Right. We'll see what happens there. Just listening to the news, Scotty. So there we are. And uh, a man has lost his all oh, right from a bulldog. Oh, dear. Right. There we go. Mm. Okay. Uh, anyway, early evening pop up. So we'll not do too much discussion about all that. Shared Scotty says Yvonne Hogg. Yvonne Hogg, are you not just a princess? Mm? So there we go. That was another thing I was a bit annoyed at today. Uh, they'd put out one of the things that there was fury about the cost of the royal wedding costing millions of pounds while um, people starved and are homeless. Can I please get the message across to every single one of you? The nice, intelligent people and the really solidly block-solid thick people, right? That um, we would be paying for the security anyway. The money works out at about threepence each maximum, all right? It's totally unconnected with homelessness. It's a young couple getting married. William Stubbs, Scotty, can you shout out for the Real Friends and Family Fishing Club? Cheers, Scotty. William Stubbs, the Real Friends and Family Fishing Club. I write, Scotty, what's happening? Um, I am, thank you, says Yvonne Hogg. Excellent, Yvonne Hogg. You are a princess. Fantastic. Don't be doing that, or they'll be shouting out, why should she, she pay for it herself? Right? Her family are paying for the Royal Wedding. The Royal Wedding, the police are paid anyway. Right? If they need extra police, it's like swapping from one budget to another. Homeless people would not be suited to living in a palace. They are vulnerable and would get confused and anxious. Right? There was a big shout as well about what the cost. The whole royal family costs us between 50 and 60p a year. Right? So don't be fooled by headlines that go fury at the millions of pounds being spent the Royal Wedding. And then all you dafties go on and start going, oh, oh we shouldn't be paying. You're not. Newsflash. Okay? Uh, wait, who's getting married? Um, Princess Eugenie is getting married. So there you are. Royal Wedding. Yes, try and keep up, Stuart, I tell you. Hello, says Susan Forrest. Hello, Susan. Dinky doo. Excellent stuff. So there we are. So can I just say to you, don't go sounding off, right? Don't go anti-royal because they are wonderful custodians of our crown and our palaces. There you are. That's it. It's a tough old life being royal. I would not thank you for it. So there we are. And we know how tough it actually is firsthand because we hear from people, you know. So, so there you are, a tough old life. So don't start, oh, they're so rich and all that stuff. That's not how it works. Martin Monaghan, thank you do. Welcome, 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 I say. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClure, first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. This is the big one. Quick pop-up on Wednesday evening, a tea time pop-up to say hi to all of you. Same with the Royal Train, right? And um, have meetings on board the train. It's very cost effective. Wonderful idea. It's a, it's a moving boardroom. You know, you can get things done and get the business of the country. But that is the main purpose of our Royal family is that um, the Queen is the custodian and curator of the crown. That is our symbol of authority in this country. Same in Scotland. The monarchy is a Scottish institution. And it really annoys me when everyone goes, oh, German, German, and that. Why the xenophobia? All right. The royal family will bring more money into an independent Scotland than the takeaway is as Martin Monarchy. And of course they will. And I think that's very, very important. And we need the royal family on site if we're hoping to be independent. 
So there you are. That's very important as well, because they need to uh, change the Scotland Independence Bill, or the Scotland Bill will need to uh, get royal assent to become an Act of Parliament. Um, so you're quite right, Martin. Stephen Brown is watching. Welcome, Stephen. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, you're watching Scotty McClure with a Wednesday evening pop-up just for you to say hi. Um, can I just remind all of you who are new to the pop-up, if you've just joined us, um, Derek Jimmy Walker, hello, Scotty, your really favourite song. There's a hole in my bucket. <coughs> very, very good. That would be H-O-L-E. So take the W off the front of that, Derek, and you will be spot on. We're having a bit of a parsing session tonight, an English lesson. A guy says, Alan, it's not an English lesson. I said, it is. Every day is an English lesson. Very, very important. So there you are, Billy Hunter Dinky Do. Nice to have you with us, Billy. Excellent. And uh, you're watching Scotty McClure, the World's Top Broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. As I say, if you're not up to date, please remember that on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday at 10 o'clock sharp in the evening, 10 p.m., Scotty McClure goes live on Scotland's newest radio station. And it is a cracker. It's a big, big radio station, Nation Radio 96.3 FM. If you're watching from Scotland now, try and put that on. If you've got a problem, then go online and put in www.nationradio.scot. VJ Dukram, the Guru Cullen Divine. Excellent stuff. There you are. That's what I was going to say to you the other night about typing, guys. You know, I feel it's a kind of necessary thing when we're on Facebook, but I much prefer the live chit chat because you can get so much more covered. You know, you're not having to say all that stuff. You know, I do have one or two dafties come on to Facebook. Roy Brownlow's watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Stuart Anderson, a warm welcome to you. You're all watching Scotty McClure in the Wednesday evening pop-up. This is the big one. This is the one for you to prefer me back a little bit, and then you can get a proper swatch of what's going on. Some people say, oh, you're a wee bit close. A wee bit close sometimes, Scotty. A wee bit close to the screen so they are a bit close to the camera excellent so there we are and uh, that just lets you know listen to the new radio show my taxi passengers enjoyed it with all the other cabbies in the ranks they hadn't heard about the new radio station but they do know now excellent nation radio that's the one you'll never ever need to go anywhere else because the music is outstanding the presenters lovely scottish presenters for you scotty i got man flu i don't think i'll survive to the end of the show roy brownlow you will survive for many 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 moons many years so there you are never mind your man flu up you get and get on with it i say unless you're feeling a wee bit man flu in which you're better just to snuggle in and you know just get yourself well i say watch a bit of scotty McClure. survive to the end of the show of course you will excellent if i can survive to the end of the show so can you <laughs> go roy brownlo excellent stuff right um what is the time doing here what are we up to 20 past six just after 20 past six so we call that 621 and um, so there we go feel free to come on and do tell me if you've got something to say it's just a quick tea time pop up for every single one of you because i hadn't seen you since midnight on friday night uh, Kenny McAnulty, good to hear from you. Welcome, 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 I say, and uh, glad you could be with us. You just made it. Women don't know how lucky they are for not getting man flu. So there you are, says Roy Brownlow. There you go. Um, Minnie the Minx got arrested with the police. She was on the, oh, for goodness sake, Derek Jimmy Walker and your jokes. So there, that was a joke, guys, by the way, from our resident jeepster, Derek Jimmy Walker. Marie Sellers watching. Did you do evening, Scotty? Says Andy Hughes. Evening, Andy. Lovely to have you with us. Has everybody shared, by the way? 
Um, a rare phenomenon took place in Glasgow today. The sun was out. Ah, the sun shines every day in Glasgow. You just don't see it for the clouds. So there you are. It only rains twice a week in Glasgow. Once for three days and once for four days. And <laughs> parts up at Newbridge. Outside Scania, says Andy Hughes. I know exactly where you are, Andy. I passed it the other day. Have they done quite a lot of changes to the, the M8, the motorway? Um, because I notice it's, uh, it's looking an awful lot better. And I was on the new crossing. And I would like to thank the uh, powers that be in Scotland, the Scottish government, for the new Queen's Ferry crossing. It is awesome. It is outstanding. Quite, quite wonderful. And thank you, thank you, thank you. So there you are. And a guy complaining. And he's going, oh, you want to try it on a force this Scotty? So many miles per hour wind. Oh. And I think, how would you like to queue up at uh, North Queen's Ferry or South Queen's Ferry and wait for the Robert the Bruce or the Mary Queen of Scots or what was the other one called? Wait for them to come in, then load your truck onto them, up and down and banging and uh, tossing you around and all that and get tossed around like a cork for 20 minutes as it tried to get across the fourth and then struggle up the slipway at the other side. That would put your gas at a peep. Scotty, I'm coming to Edinburgh Fringe in 2019. Can you put on a show, please? I'd love to do a show at the Fringe. Unfortunately, it clashes with another project I'm involved in. So that's my problem. That's why I've never been on at Edinburgh Fringe, because I'm always doing something else. So there we are. But perhaps we'll manage it. A Fringe show. Do we do a Fringe show or one of the big Edinburgh Festival shows? Scotty McClue live at the Edinburgh Festival saying dinky doo to every single one of you. Yvonne Hogg. Ha ha, that's so true, Scotty. I know, Yvonne. People don't realise when they're well off. They moan. They go, oh, well, we, I think there's not a negative thing about this. And I think, look, they closed the snow gates on the A9. The cock bridge to Tom and Tool Road closes. They closed the snow gates on the A66 between Bruff and um, Appleby and Scotch Corner. All these things. You don't get truckers going, oh, you want to see coming over there on a winter's night? I've done it. I don't want to see. I've done it. Travelled in snow and ice. Remember Scotty McClure travels between Aberdeen and Newcastle and Carlisle and Sheffield and Manchester and London and Birmingham and Liverpool and Preston and Wales. I travel all the time these roads, you know, doing a show in Sheffield, doing a show in, uh, in in Newcastle, all that sort of stuff, up and down all the roads, into Teesside, you know, across the M62, across the the different passes as well, you know, the two the two passes going over to Sheffield there, one pass or the other, which one? Take your choice, but you don't hear me moaning and going, Oh, oh, I had to go over that pass the other night. Dear, oh, dear, oh, deary, deary me. Mr. Polar loved male and female bears. He was bipolar. Right. Thank you, Derek. Very good. Tea time pop up. Oh, I, I would. Roads are better out there. Just still as bad drivers. Is that a huge? Yes. Well, I think... A lot of it. There are bad truckers as well, actually, Andy. Let's have it straight. You know, truckers get a bit. But because you guys are driving all the time, you tend to be a bit more even-tempered. Uh, you know, but there are um, a lot of car drivers that don't appreciate what it's like uh, having to drive a wagon. So there you are. Snake Pass. That's it, Andy. The Snake Pass. So try the Snake Pass on a winter's evening, or rather, don't. 
is my advice. One for Bertha King Patton's watching from Port Glasgow. Dinky do, Bertha King Patton. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome to Scotty McClue's Wednesday evening tea time pop up just for you to say Dinky do. Luke Garrins has joined us. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Right. Uh, yes, there are bad truckers as well. I mean, you know, we've all got to give and take a little bit. And on the roads, we should be at our most uh, courteous. You know, and I always give the lorries, you know, if they're, if they're pulling out because they really are sort of nose to tail too much and they have to pull out, I give them the lights and let them pull out. And then I give them the lights when they need to come in again. If I'm on the inside lane, so there you go. You're clear of me, chum. Your tail's clear. In you pop. They're always delighted with that because somebody else has thought. Let the buses pull out. Okay, you might get... Uh, you know, a big cloud of diesel and you have to slow down a bit. It's only for seconds. You know, think seconds. Look after the other person and your life will be so much better. One here in Rochester, I was sunbathing in the garden. This is Derek. Yes, but you sunbathe all the time until somebody tells you to come in because it's Christmas. Good on you, Scotty, says Andy Hughes. Of course, Andy, we like to look after each other. It only takes a few seconds. We're on the road anyway. You know, it's like folk that used to shoot past you, you know, way over the speed limit, and then you pass them at the final roundabout. It's the bus drivers that are bad, Scotty. They just go round and round, says Kenny McAnulty. You know, there's a lot of very good bus drivers. I always get the big thumb out the window for letting them out, you know. Manners cost nothing, says Scott Biddy. You're absolutely right, Trump. They are free, free as the air. Uh, hello, Scotty, says Scott McKean. Hello, Scott McKean. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, you're watching Scotty McClure. Quick Wednesday evening tea time pop-up just for you to say hi. Hello, Scotty. Can everybody do a share, guys? Could you all just share this right now? Trevor Entwistle is part of the highway code. People need to uh, always give way to public transport. Yes, Andy Hughes, people need to respect each other. Of course, a lot of numpties driving on the road, Scotty. Think you should send the driving license back to Swansea. When you reach 65, use your bus pass. There's too many cars on the road. Does everybody agree with that? Are there too many cars on the road? Should you hand your license back at 65? I spoke to a lady last night who was 93, and uh, she didn't have to give up the car, but she courageously did, because the police followed her one day and said she was going a little bit slow, and she said, well, you've got to take care in this weather. You know, she hadn't done a thing wrong. So there you are. Everyone's in too much of a rush these days, Scotty. So how can a beggar have a bus pass if they're homeless, says Derek. Well, you, you must be able to get... A bus pass, you're, I mean, you're never completely homeless, so you must be able to give somewhere as an abode, you know. Uh, but it's just whether that's acceptable or not. Well, when I say you're not completely homeless, I know there are people sleeping in skips and, uh, you know, under bushes and all that sort of stuff. But uh, we need to be looking at that. That is political. And that could have been sorted out at the stroke of a pen. There should be nobody uh, homeless or begging in this country. So there you are. We need to sort that out. It's a political thing. And then check, say, so politically you go, this person appears to be begging. They also appear to be homeless. Right. Get them into a center and let's get them sorted out. Let's find out who they are, what they're all about, what the problems are, and see if we can do something about it. That's all we're asking. We've put up with about 10, 11 years of so-called austerity, right? And that's political as well. No need for it. There you are. So, Terry Jimmy Walker, I do take your point on board. I'm saying you're never completely and utterly homeless, but a lot of people probably are, uh, you know, and they need to be uh, picked up and properly um, helped. All right? That's what we're looking for there. So that would be my answer. It shouldn't actually happen. Yes, manners. Manners, looking after each other, because any of us could be homeless at any time. Yes, some of us are just one paycheck away from it, and some of us are not even 
a paycheck away from it. So uh, it does make sense to look after those in society who are less fortunate. And a lot of you do, and I give thanks for that. There are people watching here who run the food banks, who look after the homeless, who do all these things. Would the government allow those with large gardens to put small wooden houses up in our gardens for homeless people? Martin, we need to be building homes for the homeless people. Yes, and I think if you're putting homes up, I'm not being not in my backyard, I'm not being an imbi here, I'm just saying if you're putting little wooden huts up and gardens, where is the plumbing for them? You know, where is the water? You need fresh, clean water. You need suitable sewage arrangements. So it's not just putting a wee wooden hut up in the garden. Otherwise, you're homeless. Then end up with cholera and typhoid, and that spreads. You end up with the Black Death. Like uh, uh, only they, they needed the Great Fire of London was the only thing that cured the Black Death because it burned everything to the ground. Councillor Henry Anderson's watching Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. Ian Judge, Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us as well. What did you think of uh, the First Minister's speech at uh, the SNP conference? I'm not being political here. I'm just asking, what did you think of that? Are, uh, is Scotland on the road to independence? I ask you. Do let us know what you think. Uh, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, of course, and it's the Wednesday evening tea time pop-up just for you, Dinky Do Live on Facebook Live. It's maybe nearly time I wasn't here. Oh, yes, it's time I wasn't here. Been absolutely lovely being with you all tonight. Thank you very much. Join me on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday live on Nation Radio 96.3, all right? Or download Radio Player from the App Store and pop in Nation Radio 96.3 FM Scotland. Get the FM in as well. You've got to put all that code in, guys. So Nation Radio 96.3 FM uh, into your radio player and uh, listen to it because the music is outstanding. Respect, Scotty. Zandy Hughes, respect you. I don't think there'll be another referendum during the current Scottish Parliament. It looks like 2024, says Martin Monaghan. Well, we've waited for, uh, you know, 311 years, I'm sure we can manage to hang on for another six years. Cheers, Scotty. You're the man, says Scott Rogers. <coughs> Scotty, I've been a digger driver for 26 years, but hit a problem in my life and used a food bank for the first time ever. I understand. I'm just very glad, Scott, that the food bank was there for you. And we give thanks to those that provide. Yes. Uh, right, I have to dash. Scotty McClure, I'll sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen, au revoir, and a cheerio. Join me on Friday night live on the radio for big discussion. Scotty McClure says to every single one of you, dinky-doo.